This is Brian at Atlanta Hot Tub Center. Today I want to talk about automatic systems in the industry, salt systems, ozone, sanitizing uh, systems that help you to maintain your water. So let's kind of jump right in. Let's start uh, with ozone. Ozone's old tech. And basically what it is, it's a venturi in your system that creates a suction and sucks in a gas called trioxide. And what trioxide does, it keeps bacteria from mutating. It also kills a large portion of the uh, bacteria. Of course, it uh, helps you. Uh, you still have to use a sanitizer, bromine or chlorine, but it, it allows you and helps you to use a lot less of either uh, bromine or chlorine in the hot tub, okay? And this is pretty old tech. It's been out a long time. It works, it works well. Uh, they started out with light ozones and now they're at Corona Discharge. They last, you know, three or four years and then you replace them, okay? So let's talk about uh, salt systems in the industry, right? And we see these all over the uh, all over the board now for hot tubs and marketers are just going crazy with the whole thing automatic hot tub automatic hot tub and so forth and so on so let's touch on this if salt is creating chlorine while you're literally sitting in it because what you do is you add a certain amount of salt and it's in the water and as you sit in the hot tub it's actually creating chlorine and you're sitting in there and breathing it in through the actual steam of the water and if you, talk, if you talk to a chemist, they're going to say chlorine is chlorine. If you talk to a doctor, they're going to say the inhalation of chlorine is a carcinogenic. I am not a fan of salt systems in a hot tub. I am, however, a fan of salt systems in a pool for the simple reason that I don't want something making chlorine while I'm sitting in it and I'm sitting there breathing it in. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of that. Plus, in, in a hot tub, in hot water, salt is pretty corrosive. And so, although these guys are saying, hey, the hot tubs are built for it, they're built for it, we're seeing a lot of problems leaking and a lot of major service calls uh, after about four or five years. Now, if you're looking for something temporary, you know, maybe, maybe it's for you. Um, you know, this whole thing that it creates soft, silky, smooth water. Uh, listen, they're just taking sodium chloride and sodium bromide and and making chlorine and bromine. They're just taking two corrosive salts and making chlorine and bromine. It doesn't make soft water. It doesn't, it doesn't do any of those things um, as, as a matter of fact. Now, some of these manufacturers will use a water conditioner with their salt system, or they have uh, these calcium bags that you put over the return that's supposed to take calcium out of the water. But, you know, quite frankly, I've never been able to really see the difference. And then, you know, here's the other trick, right? It's an automatic system, so they're saying that you don't have to uh, add your chlorine every single week. Okay, but hold on a minute. You still have to maintain pH, alkalinity, and hardness, and you still have to test for chlorine because that salt's making chlorine. You have to make sure that your electrode or cell is actually making chlorine from the actual salt, right? So you still got to use a chlorine test strip, right? And now on top of that, you have another component, right? Because now you have to test the salt parts per million. You have to make that sure that your salt parts per million is correct in the hot tub so it can make the chlorine that you need in the hot tub to actually use it. So it just doesn't work as well as a pool does. And of course, the marketers have really gone crazy with this whole entire thing. And hey, guess what? Guys, if you want a salt system and your heart is set on it, I'm more than happy to give you one. My job is to try to educate you from what I know in the industry so that you can make the best, best decision for you and uh, uh, your, your family, right? So, so again, now we, we here, we really like, uh, you know, again, this is something that we in endorse here. Again, I'm not saying it's for you. I'm not pushing it on you. But we, we like a clear ray system that is separate from an ozone system. And what a clear ray system is, it's a giant UV bulb that's surrounded by a quartz tube. And the quartz tube magnifies the UV and it scrambles the DNA in the bacteria. Now, when you scramble the DNA in the bacteria, you're not necessarily killing it, but what you are doing is you're keeping it from mutating. Okay, and that's what you want because that's what bacteria wants to do in warm water conditions. So we're able to keep the bacteria levels very, very low in an actual hot tub. And then we're using it in conjunction with an actual ozone. So 
It goes through the uh, UV light system, scrambles the DNA and the bacteria, then it goes into that ozone system and it's attaching all that trioxide and keeping it from mutating, killing a large portion of it. And now we've found that you can actually keep chlorine levels at one to two parts per million in your hot tub. Folks, that's less than a salt system. You're not even going to know that the chlorine's even in the water. So that's really what I'm a big fan of. Again, um, you know, there's, there's multiple different systems out there, and you've got to pick which one is, is best for you, which one is going to fit you and your family. If you have any more questions on these different systems in the industry, please don't hesitate to give us a call at any time. Be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. It's 770-558-4496. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.